welcome to Dad Got Parks and my review of the Cirque du Soleil Drawn to Life show over at Disney Springs in Walt Disney World. We've been wanting to uh, check this show out for quite a while and it happened to be my wife's birthday and that's what she wanted to do for her birthday. So we headed out over to Disney Springs. The Cirque du Soleil Drawn to Life show is located over at the west side of Disney Springs. It's that big white tenty looking building. Drawn to Life opened up November 18th, 2021. and is a brand new show that came over to Disney Springs and I'm just gonna go right off the bat. It's fantastic, great show. It is just filled with Disney magic. There's Disney music throughout. There's Disney art throughout. It is a just beautiful show. If you have never seen a Cirque du Soleil show, they are just filled with acrobatics and performance and like pantomime, I guess is a great word. Like a lot of facial performing. It's just really fun. There are two shows daily of Drawn to Life, one at 5.30 and one at 8 p.m. That is Monday to Saturday. On Sundays, they do a little bit different schedule. There's a 1.30 show and a four o'clock show. So keep that in mind. If you're going on a Sunday, it's kind of like a little earlier schedule. Ticket prices range anywhere from about like 88 bucks to kind of over $200. In my opinion, you don't need to spend the buku big bucks. It is not that big of a venue. It's kind of a small, intimate venue and pretty much just kind of being in there, you're gonna get a really good view of the show. Our tickets were section 202 row Q, and I think this was like a good kind of sweet spot for tickets. They were like $97. They weren't the least expensive, but they're definitely not the most expensive. I think they were one level up from the least expensive tickets. The nice thing about where we were seated, we were kind of like mid tier of the upper level but keep in mind, they do kind of like stuff in the rafters and there's things going up in the ceiling. So if you're down really far and close to the stage, you're gonna be like looking up and above and behind you to kind of catch what's going on all around you. So we felt like we had a really good um, seat to be able to take in everything during the show. Are you enjoying this video? If so, there are a few things that you can do that would really help Dad out. Go ahead and subscribe. Give the video a like and hit the notification bell. That would be great. One of my big tips for the show is to get there a little bit early. They do a pre-show, takes place about an hour before the show, and they do a thing where they get kids involved in the show. And they can go on stage and they do like a little drawing. It's really cool. Now, we were very lucky because the kiddo's a charmer. She, that's just the way she is. People love her. She's just very forward and just bubbly and great. And so we kind of made friends with the ushers as we were kind of waiting to get into the, uh, the venue. And she's chit chatting with them and being cute and doing her thing. And, and we had asked, you know, how do they select the people to get on stage? Because we knew about this get on stage thing. And uh, the performer had said, oh, was that something you'd want to do? Of course, the kiddo, yes, I don't. So the kiddo got picked to go on stage before anybody even was being picked to go on stage. She charmed the usher into picking her to go on stage. So he said, okay, as soon as they announce that we need people to come on stage, you just sit in your seat. I'm gonna walk you guys to your seat. You wait here, I'm gonna come get you, and then I will bring you on stage to be a part of the pre-show. And it was amazing. They took her on stage. She got to be on there with the performers as they were like doing little stuff around the stage. And they did, the kids did special drawings. And then they had all the kids take their drawings and then they brought them up and they did this cool thing. And of course the kiddo's the first one that they pick and she hands her drawing to the performer. They have her blow a kiss. And then the drawing kind of floats through. He makes it like the drawings floating through and they put it under a little projector and they project the drawing on a giant screen for everybody in the arena to see the drawings of the kids. And so the kiddos was the first drawing that everybody got to see. And it was like a really cool magical experience for us to have the kiddo involved in the show. So 
if you think that Met might be something your kiddo would want to be involved in, kind of get there early, hang around the venue, and make chit chat with the usher. Maybe mention that your kid would be interested in doing something like that. Maybe they'll uh, be nice and do that for you. Just saying, it's pretty cool. Now they do not allow filming during the, the, the show. It's a legitimate show. Now they let you film the pre-show and everything. That's why I was able to get that awesome footage of the kiddo and a little bit of the performers and stuff before the pre-show. But once the show starts, no filming, it's a show. That's their business, that's their thing. So any of this film and performance footage that I have is all from the Cirque du Soleil website. It's just the stock footage from them. It's all, you know, kind of from them, just to give you guys a little bit of a feel of the show so you guys can see what's going on. It is fantastic. I highly recommend it. It is a great time. Make a night of it. Go see the show, go get lunch before, or go get dinner after over at Disney Springs somewhere. Definitely worth it. Like I said, you don't have to spend the buku bucks to be right up front on the stage. If you want to do that, great, go ahead. But I liked our like mid-level upper tier tickets. They were great. We got to see everything. We got to see everything in the ceilings going on and all the and all the stuff. I do really like this show. I've seen other Cirque du Soleil shows. I really like this show because of the Disney integration, you know, Disney people. Uh, they integrate Disney music and Disney art into the show. It's really unique. It's really cool. I enjoyed it quite a bit. The kiddo loved it. She was just to the moon and back, especially the fact that she got to be in the show. I say make some time for yourself if you are either a local, definitely put it on your list of things to do. If you have a little bit of extra time in your vacation, and you're looking for something special to do on a night out, add it to your list of things to do for your vacation. It is 100% worth it. It is awesome. Thank you for uh, all your guys' support on this channel. Thank you to all my members. If you are interested in becoming a member, information is down in the description below. Dad may recommend you go see Cirque du Soleil Drawn to Life but he doesn't do outros, so that's it. Bye. If you enjoyed that video, why not throw dad a good old like and subscribe and do the notification thing or leave me a comment about what your favorite part of this video was. That would really help dad out and you can go check out one of these other videos. I'm sure they're fantastic. I mean, I, I made them, so I'm pretty sure they're fantastic. All right, yeah, do that stuff.